Hey guys, what's up? My name is Debbie if you're new here. If you're not, welcome back. This is part two of my moving vlog series. If you're interested in part one, I'll leave it right here, but we're getting straight into part two. So as you can see, I am finally in New York City. I am so excited, but I'm really exhausted from moving my luggage like on and off the airplane and into the apartment, but I'm really happy to be here. This apartment right now, it is not my apartment. I wish it was, but it isn't. For those of you who don't know, I transferred from Toronto to New York for work. So my company has kindly offered to provide my stay in this apartment while I look for a place of my own. So the place is furnished and it's equipped with all like cleaning supplies, kitchen essentials, and things like that. So it's super convenient. And I wanted to show you guys around before I unpack and things get crazy in here. So let's get started on the tour. So right here is the front door. When you first come into the apartment, we have this closet here. I basically just put my jacket here for now um, and my boots. And then to my right is the bathroom. I'm really happy with how the bathroom looks. There's a bunch of shelving and a mirror here, which is also a medicine cabinet. So a lot of storage, which I'm really happy about. Um, this sink though is asymmetrical, like the faucet is off to the right and I'm just not a huge fan, but I think it's fine for now. We'll work with it. Then the bathtub also looks really nice. It's just how it looks like. I get like major hotel vibes from this apartment okay so moving on to the left of the front door here is the piece that captured my heart it is the ensuite laundry i'm really really grateful for this here okay so further down is the kitchen it's really nice with stainless steel appliances like i said the kitchen is equipped with all the cooking and kitchen necessities we have like plates in there knives i think that's supposed to be a cutting board so yeah really nice kitchen okay before we move on to the main room i want to show you guys this closet here it's a huge spacious walk-in closet i've just stuck my luggage in there for now so yeah as you can see i have a lot of luggage i had three full size luggages and then one carry-on size that i also put into check baggage and then i have like two bags over there now let's move on to the main living area so this is a studio apartment, which is why you see the bed and the couch are in the same room and you can basically see the entire apartment from one glance. Okay, so here is the bed with a nice little bedside table. Actually, there's two, one on each side. So really good for like charging my phone and things like that. Here we have the couch, which is a love seat, which is perfect for one person. Nice little coffee table. And then the TV with a dresser underneath. Okay, so the last area is this dining setup. It also will have to be my work from home setup because I am going to be working from home two days out of the five days. I see there's an outlet back there, which probably would reach if not i could just move the table so yeah this is basically how the apartment looks like at a glance very small but honestly very nice and i'm really happy with it i also saw online that there's a really nice roof deck so i'll bring you guys up there in a bit but basically this is where i'll be staying temporarily i'm texting my broker right now so hopefully we'll have some places to view um in the next week or so 
And since I'm relocating from Toronto, I do have a few settling in tasks to do, like setting up my bank account, phone plan, things like that. So if that's interesting, I'll bring you guys along as well. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go get some food now. I am really hungry and I'll probably explore my neighborhood a little bit. It's a really nice day out, so yeah, let's go. Hello again, we are on day two. I got a couple things done today, which I'm really proud of. Number one, I finally got a phone plan. So now I can use my data when I'm out and navigating um, or just to like message people, which is really good. I also went on my first Trader Joe's run. I'll show you guys what I got in a bit, but the Trader Joe's is not too far from here. So I did walk, um, but after I got some stuff, it was harder to walk with like my groceries so i ended up taking the bus back which i was prepared to do but really nervous about because then i would have to go get my metro card figure out the metro card figure out like how the bus works and then get on the correct bus get off at the right stop i don't know it's just like a whole process but it turned out fine the metro card process was not too bad i found a retailer that sells it so i went there to get it and then at the bus station i was supposed to put my card in to get a ticket for the bus but i couldn't figure out how the machine worked and a kind lady was waiting for the bus and she helped me so honestly a really nice experience um the bus ride was okay and i'm back here in one piece so i would call that a success okay now i'm gonna show you guys what i got at trader joe's okay the lighting in here is horrific but we'll work with it so i got two bags of stuff i was trying to be mindful of what i got um because i knew i'd have to carry it and i think it worked out really well and also the whole experience in general was really nice the staff was helpful when I asked them a question and at checkout, um, the lady was being really nice and friendly. So had a good experience. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my cold items. So she told me that she placed all my cold items in this bag. I got some fruit, eggs, and this is the cutest little egg carton ever. There's only six, which is perfect for me. Got three Greek yogurts for breakfast, some butter, and turkey breast for my sandwiches, cheese and prosciutto also for my sandwiches, a frozen dinner because I know I'm gonna get lazy one day. That's everything in this bag. I'll unpack my second bag spinach which is random but I need my greens so mushrooms a loaf of bread for my sandwiches two um, instant ramens some pasta and tomato sauce and then two avocados just in case you guys are curious, that costed me $54.79, which is not bad for a week of meals. I also realized that this vlog is all over the place. It's supposed to be a moving vlog, but it's turning out to be random. <laughs> but hope you guys are enjoying it so far. Hey guys, it's Saturday. I have my first apartment viewing today. I've been trying to email people all week long, but I've had no luck. Um, so today will be my first viewing. Today's viewing is gonna be really nice. Um, 
it looks really good on the videos, but we'll have to see how it looks in person. So after I view the apartment, I'm just going to walk around the neighborhood that the apartment's in so that I can get a sense of like the community there and what it's like, um, how convenient things are. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, it's been a few days since we last spoke. I feel like I should give you guys a little update. So I went to view the apartment I told you guys about on Saturday and it was gorgeous. Like the apartment itself, the building it was in, the street, the neighborhood, like everything about it was beautiful. Now, the main thing that held me back was the fact that it's a studio apartment. Now I'm open to living in a studio, which is why I went to view it, but since it's still early on in my search, I was hoping to look at more one bedrooms first. Um, so that was the main thing. And to give you guys some background on my situation right now, um, first of all, the New York City rental market is super competitive right now because I guess people are coming back to the city after the pandemic and things like that. Um, number two, I am a Canadian citizen and I do not have US credit history. So because of that, a lot of owners, um, they would ask for a guarantor. Some owners would allow third party guarantors such as Rhino or the guarantors. But from my experience, and this may be different for other people, but from my experience, a lot of owners won't even go through the hassle of dealing with an international tenant. So that's just what I found. And with that in mind, and the fact that this apartment was calling to me, I just went ahead and applied. Um, so I applied that night, Saturday night. I kind of forgot about it on Sunday. And then Monday morning, I was told that my application was approved. I knew there were three other people applying for the apartment as well. Um, so I wasn't really like waiting or expecting anything, but the news was obviously really good. And I was really happy about that. I went and signed the lease on Tuesday. So it's done it's official i will be moving in in the next few weeks really excited about the place and i'm very relieved that i actually found an apartment but part of me is wondering if that was too fast like i don't know if i jumped on this one too quickly but i don't regret it like it's a beautiful beautiful apartment so yeah, now we can do the exciting stuff like the actual moving in the furnishing decorating so if you guys are interested i hope you continue to follow along on this journey and with that i will end this video don't forget to comment like or subscribe and i'll talk to you guys next time